when you engage in a public functioning like we have engaged, many wars will be coming from different angles, from left, from right, from front, from back. But it is the ability to hold on those words, investigate those words in your own way, make one to two calls to confirm if what you are hearing is true. Don't be in a haste to go out the media to misinform the public. It's very, very important. You know, what ridicule Nigeria today is their inability to investigate issues before engaging in action. Nigeria is the only country where I see somebody walk into a police station, get some, some matters report and, and requested for police to follow him. It doesn't happen anywhere in this in the world, only in Nigeria. I haven't been in Ghana, so I don't know if such thing work in if they function like that in other part of African country. But where I have gone, where I have touched my leg so far, it doesn't work that way. You have every right to report issues to police. Police will tell you, okay, we have no down your complaint or your report. They will be back on investigation. Why this investigation is very important? You have asked you have, have you asked yourself why even the matter that requires urgent uh, engagement, the authorities that are reasonable will say, okay, let us investigate. Because investigation is very good so that you won't hurt an innocent soul. I keep on saying it. Worst thing any man can do in this world is to hurt an innocent soul. Moment you hurt an innocent soul, if you don't pay when you are alive, be rest assured, your lineage will pay. This is kind of sin that has a longest term consequences. Very, very important. Very, very important. Innocent blood. Yeah. I keep on warning people, but many people don't understand this thing. Even when I was in Nigerian military, I did everything I could to avoid, to avoid it. And that is why, that is what makes me mostly quit. Because you cannot do it alone. As far as you have that mentality, you cannot do it alone. Because I remember when I was growing up, as a child, my late father told me something. There are two things he said to me. He said, I'm okay. Don't take something that belongs to another, another man. No matter how desperate or no matter how in need you are, don't take what belongs to another person. And today, all my stay in Europe and all my stay in this South America that I'm still now here, nobody, make a call. People know me, make a call. Ask anybody, have you done anything with Lion Man that Lion Man is holding your money? I'm not holding anybody one cent. Because that is a, the word of my late father is a command to me. It's a, it's a heavy commandment. That's how I build myself. Whatever my father told me, I used as an order as a law unto my life. Till today, I avoided all those things till this age. And by the special grace of God, I will avoid it till I grow old and die. Don't hurt innocent person. Don't take what belongs to another person. Don't informant person that come from your side, your brother or your sister. Even when that person is doing bad, the only advice you have, the only love you show to that person is, come, stop doing this thing. This thing will land you in trouble. It's enough. It's enough. You, have, you have released the word. It depends on the person to take it or the person to abandon that word. 
If you take it, good for him. If you don't take it, good for him as well. Good luck for him. You all remember how these people ganged up. Try to lie against the innocent people in the leadership of this IPOB. And all this while I was making call, correcting some figures from individuals, some individuals. Say, this matter you are following them blackmailing an innocent. So do you know that to blackmail an innocent person has a consequences? He may not react at that moment, but are you thinking about future? For those that are married and have children, are you thinking about the future of your children? Because if he doesn't follow you, he may somehow only follow your children. Avoid it. I know the heart of men is full of wickedness. Fine. But avoid it. To be wicked is a choice. To be kind is also a choice. You all have seen the latest tweet of Kananta Khan. When I saw somebody send out, somebody called my attention. I said, "Lion man, I don't know the kind of spirit that is inside you, but I'm beginning to believe some certain things about you." Remember what I said? I say, "Let them go up, go round and come back." I said, "They will still come back to IPO." I said, "You see all these people." But the mad, the one they call himself prophet, that madman, because this is, Gomez and the kind of called him madman. When Madden and the kind was outside. That their in law is a madman. It's not, that is, many people don't even know that people with mentally disturbed in different forms. There are people, they are only to the street. There are people who are still wearing suit, not tied, but they are not mentally healthy. Due to their acting and their word, you will know if this person is mentally healthy or not. That's why I don't react to people's uh, misconduct. First thing I will do, I would like to engage that person in talk. That's kind of what you will release. I will know that this, if this person is healthy, mentally healthy or not. Master Prophet, I don't count his word. His word because the man is, is, is a mentally disturbed person. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. I got to place him on, med um, on place him on the medicinal uh, daily medicinal uh, this thing, or he manages his his word uh, his word like that until he, he say bye bye to the word. But uh, Canon Takano recently tweeted cautioning the the Funani boy in Finland that anything he wants to do he is free to do it with his own name all of you remember two years ago I hinted on this and I said where is if these people are not somehow complicit in this issue of this foreigner that is parading himself as a, as a Biafra indigenous I said is it not enough time to notice when somebody is fighting you or when somebody is supporting you body language forget about the word of our mouth that's what they call body language in the body language it appears that this guy is fighting against the people of biafra then what you will do as a reasonable man is to investigate why is he fighting against us why is he not joining hand together to fight those who come to destroy us? Why, why have he turned around to fight us? This first thing I did that made me notice that the guy is not a bona fide Biafra. The guy is a Funani born in Biafra land. A boni precisely. Because Even in Bible, forget about those who wrote Bible. There are something you, you know that in every nonsense you will learn sense. 
in every on the land language, in every nonsense. I, I mean, for those that say Bible is nonsense, you are belief is your belief. So now I'm taking the word from them. In every nonsense, there is sense as well. That's why a good listener listing both sense and the nonsense. So sometimes when somebody is talking nonsense, you take sense out of it and add to your own. You have gained something every day. Even in Bible, some people that call it nonsense, okay, I want to take sense from Bible now, from that nonsense, as some people assume. The story of the two prostitutes that had a child and one laid on her child. The child died. In the morning, he woke up and they discovered that the child had died. He went and exchanged the, his, uh, her colleague living child and dropped the dead one. So when that one woke up, he discovered that a dead child is by her side. He look at it and say, no, this is not my child. I know my child. Of course, you know your thing. Your property, you must know it. No matter how new it is, there is something you will look at. It's like now when you buy a car, thief smash the car. There are some, if you see that car, where that car park, there are something, there is something you will look at and say, this is my car. So, the other of her colleague looked at it and said, no, this is not my child. This is my child. Quarrel, fight, broke out. They went to the king. And king asked a reasonable question. You, 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 how do you want us to do this living child? Since all of two of you are dragging it. Very reasonable. Someone that own what belongs to you, don't destroy it. Where I'm going now, I am talking to some those that said they are autopilot. The other one that owned the child said, Okay, King, for peace to rest, we are going to leave this living child with the king. When the child grow. We will find out who is the real owner for pistol. That is the owner of the living child, the mother of the living child. Then the one that laid on her own child and her own child died said, King, divide the child. And that <laughs> anytime I read that chapter in Bible, I say it's not today that wickedness has begun to reign. Wickedness has been there from the beginning of the world. Wickedness has been in existence for the beginning of the world. That woman is an example. When you divide a, a living thing, which means you, uh, what the woman was tactically saying is kill the child so that both of us will go empty. She will remain childless, I will remain childless. Nobody kill his own. That is why when you have a child in a family, family of two or three or four and one single child is behaving abnormal against his brothers or sisters if you're a wise man if you don't want to break up cause problem in your family take the hair of that child or that you will get it you see you're, you're not a father you know how to get it Find a way to get the hair of that child. Pull it, not cut it. Pull it from the, the basin. Either you you bring that child, you don't do as if you are playing. If it's a, you pull, you pull the hair from the body of the child. Hold it, secure it. Go to hospital. Take your blood and match with that hair. They will give you the DNA result. Only what you need to do is to find out: is it my biological? child or not why is he behaving this way if you find it out if you're a man of secret who does not want problem keep it secret the only thing you would do if you're a wealthy father 
give that child what belongs to them and share other things and speak to each of, of every child. Be all of you should be very careful. Don't leave every, anything there until you are gone. Because that one outside will bring problem to that family. So the only solution that time is to divide things you have when you are alive to the, for peace to rare. So that when that vagabond child squandered his or her own, he will not come near to disturb your biological children. But if you're a man who wants disaster, reveal it to your wife and drive that child away from your family. If you can do it. But if you cannot do it, do it where I ask you to do. Because only you know that this one not from you. That's why you say he's behaving like that. Why am I saying what I'm saying? IPOB was established to protect every Biafra. Even when the politicians were misbehaving, hunting, do you know that politicians from the Eastern region have indeed displayed what I call the attitude of a bastard? Maybe they did it for political reason, out of their desperation of belonging to politics in Nigeria. Fine and good. But in all these things, have you asked yourself, why is IPOB didn't go after them? Does it mean that IPOB does not have the capacity to go after them and hunt them? Then if you ask yourself that question, you begin to sit back and begin to reason properly. Organization of over 5 million to 10 million, are you telling me that they don't have capacity to go after anybody and get that person? The answer is yes, they have the capacity. But another thing that you'll be asking yourself, why can't them carry out such action? Do you know why they will not carry such action? Because IPOB have want, want to try and change the attitude of black Africans. IPOB is trying to change the attitude of black Africans. Do you, do you hear what I said? The IPOB want to display what I call charisma of fatherhood, charisma of leadershiphood. You know, when you want to play the charisma of father, father, uh, fatherhood, remember you have a stubborn children. You have obedient children. You have disobedient children. You will manage them all as a father. When you want to talk to that stubborn one, you know how to talk to that person. You know how to deal with that person. When you want to talk to the obedient one, you know how to talk to that person. You know how to deal with the person. They want to talk to the disobedient one. You know how to do it. The capacity to manage all of them is what makes you an excellent father. And that is exactly what IPOB have displayed. Everything Kano Takano did, it doesn't take IPOB anything to take him off the earth. It's just like, just like this, bam. You plan it, you take him off the earth. Because he did he commit abomination, Kano Takano committed abomination. That's why many people are saying IPOB are not serious. IPOB are not serious. When they, they said that, I said, it is you that is not serious. What makes IPOB not serious? Eh, is it because of his carnal, Muslim and the carnal, our leader's siblings? Eh, what he have done, this and that, I ask. Not even though it is because of carnal siblings. Apart from being Muslim and the carnal siblings, what of other people who are not related to Muslim and the carnal? Have you had the record that even all the things that all Joseph Carlo did, even all the things that Okese person did, does Okese person not have relative? He has the relative in the Mwa, who benefited heavily from his corrupt system of government in Adia State. Or Joseph Kadu himself. Because sometimes I say, 
Achuwa mo kachu ta ya achuwa nde na ya lakuko. But in a white people's land, in a white people, white color people land, achuwa mo kachu ta ya aga achuwa di mo kachuwa mo ega tochi. Nobody is touching the family. That's the rules of Ndocha. Ndocha said, the white people said, the head that committed the sin is the head that will be hung down. Osama bin Laden, Osama bin Laden, Osama bin Laden, Osama bin Laden. Upon all the things Osama bin Laden committed, the terrorism he engaged, Osama bin Laden have son. He have daughters that live, one of the sons lived in UK. Go and investigate. UK government never go down one day and say, hey, because he's your father. I go back to there. No, he's not done that way. This are not done that way because that son of Osama bin Laden is an so you know say so he have come to live his life, not his father's life. This is why let me tell the Nigerian official this is why Nigeria was caused by God. This is why Nigeria was destroyed by God Himself. Nobody can fix Nigeria. Do you know why? Innocent blood have cried louder in a soil in that name called Nigeria. That name has become an abomination before heaven, before Elohim. And there's nothing any man can do it, can do about it. If for Nigeria to be good, expecting it to be worse, as, as days break today, Nigeria of yesterday, Saturday, today is Sunday, go and make your research. Nigeria of yesterday, Saturday, it was more a little bit manageable than today, Sunday. After today, tomorrow will be worse. That to show you sign of manifestation of evil. Sport, Nigeria sport team or institution. As the year goes by, it becomes more corrupt, more evil, more corrupt, more manipulative, more manipulative. The when Amokachi them were in Nigeria team. We say Nigeria was corrupt. The team, Nigeria's uh, sports institution was corrupt. Fine. It was corrupt then. How many years ago now? I want to ask all of you. How many years ago was that? It's going, it's heading to almost 30 something or 40. As they, today, it become more worse than those back years. Even every dream and the prayer of any Nigeria is, can we go back to those past years? Which is not possible. It can't go back to the... It can't, it can't rewind the clock. But if it come to Western world, developed world, where they are carefully avoid the blood of innocent people, their years, their betterment is always in future. As this country was yesterday, today there is new something that you will see the government will unveil that will make you happy. To show you, they are moving forward. They are not going backward. Because they are avoiding the innocent blood. There is a place they call ghetto in this country where people construct cheaper houses. Where if you live there, like now, if I am living to other place, I'm paying 1,000 years monthly for house rent. In, they call it, uh, in English, they call it uh, ghetto, but in that place, they call it favela. It's a good house, but it's a house, with an area where bad gangs live, doing their business, doing their illegal business. But despite that, you can never be coming out from that area, police will stop you on the road. They know those who they, 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 they know those who are involved in those bad businesses. They go after, if they want to come inside that ghetto, maybe one serious, where well, they have committed one serious crime, then government will release court to go inside that ghetto. Sometimes they will be you know, in operation with those bad guys inside that ghetto. 
You are the innocent person will be passing near the police. They will leave you because they know it's not you. Because they know you are innocent. There was a time, the one they did, bullet touch an innocent man who were coming from, uh, from work because he lived there. As the bad guys were firing, they were they bullet touch him. Do you know that government paid the family of that late man compensation and they apologize? It is a straight bullet that it, if it is in Nigeria, they will tag that innocent man, one of the bad guys, because already he's already dead. They will tag in other words to defend themselves. That's why you see, it's not good. Many people may not even open mouth to say this thing. I am saying now, it's not good. I remember all the activities of Mas, um, uh, Karen Takano. The evil he committed. I call it evil. I'll have to go straight to the point. I call it evil he committed. I know how many IPOB members who he misleaded, especially in, in back home. Today, those, pe those people are in grave. Their bone, their body have rotten. What will remain there is bone. Who misleaded them? Canon to canon. Why did he mislead, mislead them? Because they were desperate to collapse IPOB. The target is destroy IPOB. What I was asking those people, I said, you, this, thing, this foundation that you people want to crumble, you want to destroy it. If you destroy it, who will now save the people of the Eastern region? Somebody, I said, I said, not, I said there is no other umbrella on the surface of earth that will save the people of Eastern region. I said, that is why God himself established IPU. I said, this thing that these people want to collapse. You people want to lead our people into a massive slaughter in the hands of the Funanian Britain. Because the ultimate desire of average Britain, government official and the Funan, is to see the people of the Eastern region being, being scattered all over the world. That is their ultimate dream and desire. They have no other desire in them. Kano Takano, I know, I don't want to say it, I know how many. That were killed under his deception. Both the ones he said his brother said. That Mazen the kind of said. And the leadership said no. This is dangerous. He went at the back, coordinated them. And ask them to go and surrender to to devil mine. And as I'm talking to you today, those guys who said it is Mazen and the kind of brother, they are nowhere today to be found. All of them they have killed them. Government have already killed all of them. None of them remain alive as I speak to you. Prince Mimi. And the canon that can. When I tell you something, take it or you leave it. You are your own risk. How many of you know that Prince Canon, for over some few weeks, he's under detention? He was detained. For what? Swapping of car. You sold somebody's car. All this, maybe all this car that one of the others they are from group gang smashed from somebody. He swiped it and sold to somebody. And they discover it, they detained him. He's out. He was detained. I keep quiet. When I told you that Nigeria government is playing, they are cracking joke with uh, Alodage Marco. Many people th thought this. I said, there is a substantial evidence. Do you know the worst thing that can happen to somebody? 
Government are not fools. You see, government, they know that. Let me tell you something. Funani, Britain, US, other European countries that have embassies in Nigeria, they know that IPOB is the only voice and umbrella that want to change the life of people that are found in Nigeria. They know. But another thing they are considering is the manner which IPOB is going about freeing everybody. If they do, which means the things we are getting for free in Nigeria, we will not be getting it for free. Now we will not enter into the real business by buying it and they will make money and everybody will live well. And they don't want this thing. They want to be getting what they are getting for free, where the people will be perishing. All of them know. All of them know. All of them know. See, what thing that can happen is, as I am now, I am man. One thing they do is somewhere. Then government know that I am a, I am suspect of many rough criminal activities. Now I am still meeting the same government talking about Chinedu. Maybe Chinedu was accused. Why the government have every evidence against me? Chinedu only is accused. Why a man only to confirm evidence? They, they will allow me to be coming and seeking for Chinedu. More I go for Chinedu, really, more, more I go for Chinedu solution. More I am, more I am putting Chinedu in trouble. trouble which is, they, what relationship do you? They will ask Chinedu, what relationship do you have with this person? Chinedu, ah, he's my good friend or he's my brother. He's he always there for me. And the government have a heaping document of crime that are, they are committed, and they don't have anything about Chinedu. Definitely, I am systematically holding Chinedu down there where he is. Because government want to find something very deep than what other people are seeing. Alloy de Jimako. Whatever I said, go and write it down or leave it. Alloy de Jimako involving in Mazin and the Kano case is an evidence that. He have tried to keep Mazen and the Khan in detention indefinitely. Because government are looking at if this man can be cooperating with this man, which is this man is somehow systematically either I see him coordinating this crime through this man that's involved in this crime. Is he one directing the crime from inside or not? Disassociating himself from that man, denouncing the man, is another manifestation of I am not in support of evil. That's why I said, Kanon Takano coming on media to say that it is not duty of my, or it's not duty of Kanon Takano to say that a Perima should be using his own name for whatever he wants to do. When I told them that, the Perima was paid heavily. I told, I opened my mouth, I told you that the guy in Ofuma, is you know what I said two years ago? I said, after a week, that money was, I said, the guy in Ofuma. Hey now, that's one thing with all these illiterates that doesn't go to school, that didn't go to school, or that have been in a hungry manner for many years. They live their life like all these unreasonable frosters. You know, or reasonable first stars is whenever money enter their hand, they will display it for the world to see. When when that time you see him dancing on the camera, doing everything, oh, he, he was heavily paid. Then he begin to showcase those money on camera, drinking on camera, doing everything on camera. 
because that is their life. They can't hide it. That is the, the criminality in them always bring them out. Somebody called me and said, why do you say that that guy is not from now? Somebody, like, somebody who was hungry for many years in Israel, I say, yes, son of man now. And that person lives there. The person has confirmed it. He say, yes, you are, you are right. That guy was heavily paid. He's living his very large, largest life now. I say, good. It's not the duty of Canon to Canon to come up on Twitter. It is the duty of William Du coming out any slightest opportunity he have he have to use his mouth buru show when when you do get you drawn here who buru show when they nearly do who hana yabam because the guy wanted to begin to flash all the evidence that joined them together that he is only one can never go down Then somebody told him, wait, don't go there now. The final step is when Martin Adekano opened his mouth and say anything in disassociating himself from his activity, then he should bring those things out. Not now. It should, it should not fight. Hello, Dejimako. Haven't him come back to where IPOB leadership stood for a very long time and the IPOB worldwide? They stand where we stood. Haven't them come back now? What is the latest tweet of Alode Jimako? Do you read it? Haven't he come back to that appeal, discharge and acquitted? And this is appeal. After the judge did that thing, they went and snorted, assassinated the, the husband. Have all of you forgotten that the judge who discharged Mazin and acquitted Mazin, according to the law, by preserving the law and the constitution of Nigeria, the husband was killed after everything? Now that Mazen and the Colonel have told him that he is not following him to any any court, he should go back. And the leadership of IPOB should reject, thank God they have rejected him already. They should reject everything concerning Alloy de Jimako. If not, nobody if the, the worst thing IPOB will do is to associate with a criminal. If you associate with the criminal, the world have evidence of Alloy de Jimako. Nigeria government and intelligence unit have said it, they have distributed it across. I told you people that he will go to jail when the time comes. I don't know that he will go to jail. I don't to the leg itself. Now that he's trying to zoom off, he wants to run away from Nigeria. He's preparing his passport. I did rather to. <coughs> He's applying for seeking for to run to Canada. He's asking going in. That means so that Nigeria government will block him. And he go nowhere. <laughs> I'm saying this so that they will block him. You cannot contribute in the pleading of innocent blood of the Africans. Then you want to escape with your life. Never. See, my own life is whatever you use your head and carry it. You are not thinking that this area, the woman lost her husband for. For doing what is right. This is the journey that they coordinated and said, let us 
end IPO. As if if you end IPO, there is another umbrella that is there to save the people. People went back to farming today in the east when other religion region are shouting and rolling on the floor for hunger. Many of, of, of them are dying for hunger. Go to east, everybody is eating. At the effort of what IPUB, at the vice of what IPUB. Because IPOB always see what will come. This is, IPOB is not, we are not a prophetic uh, institution. It is a leader, a quality leadership institution. That's what IPOB is. Because if you're a leader, you'll be able to calculate tomorrow. You'll be able to plan for tomorrow. When we see, we not calculate as a, what is happening? What is making our people not go to the farm and the farm so that we will be, we'll be food self-sufficient? What happened? We discovered that our people are becoming gullible. Most of them were deceived by the faith they practice. Somebody will tell you, you don't need to walk. You only what you need to pray. God will give you miracle money. Not everybody have sense. Some people believe it that yes, miracle money exists, but there is nothing like miracle money. If you play Babi Jebu, you win. That is based because you play. The number that came out fall on your number. That means you are lucky. That is not miracle. It is participating in a game. You were a participant of that game. Don't, but people will say, yes, this is not miracle. No, it's not miracle. If you play uh, this uh, millions of dollars, uh, this thing that I play in the US uh, lottery, you win. Because the number that the machine rolled, when machine was rolling it, we are falling on your number. You are lucky. It's not miracle. You participated. Someone who did not participate in that game can never win that game. So it's not a miracle. You invest. Whoever that invests, expect return. No investment, no return. That is the law of God. Are you now bigger than God? Are you now want to be more holier than God? Now listen and say, oh, these people are saying the truth. Not only they stop there, those who are not capable of securing what they will plant, IPOB did what? Distributed the seed. Okay, you want to, but you don't have money to purchase this. Take, go. They distributed it. Some governors swept into action immediately by mapping out money and distributing to the uh, to the uh, 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 workers even is it not by even more bayasa by i think bayasa govern map out two times in a week or two times in a, 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 a day in a week for all the government workers to go to farm and work In the line, in line with IPOB suggestion and the initiation. Today, it's getting better. And now and people that have discovered this thing, watch out in the next five to ten years. We will be supplying food to the north. This is why we are asking the politicians remove badness from your character. Let this work. Can't you be ashamed of yourself? You are you are feeling headache, you run to London. You are feeling this, you run to London. You are feeling this, you run to the place of your enemy. 
And you forget that these people have their database with them. You don't know what they will inject to you. Some of them, they will inject them something that will make them last. In the next 20 years, they will die. In the next 10 years, they will die. Well, imagine your enemy is your doctor. You are finished. What else? Any, your enemy now becoming your doctor. Easiest way to grave. The fastest way to grave. That is it. So, what I want to urge everybody, if you are, if you are a, a, a reverend mother from the Eastern region, protect IPOB. He may not, he may not like the people, but bear it in mind that IPOB is God standing to defend the people of the Eastern region. God can never come down from heaven and do it. Politics is manipulative. IPOB is in one unit, very strongly bound together. And togetherness is the fear. That is the greatest fear of your enemy. Do you know why Britain and the Funane are not afraid of churches in Nigeria? Because they know that they pass nothing. Portuguese will say it's not pass nada. In Portuguese, they say, when they hear somebody say, this one no pass anything, which means that person is, is, is as useless as even tissue is more better than that person. When Portuguese will look at it and say, oh, he no pass nada, which means you are nothing. Finally knows, because do you know why? They know that church can never, ever save you in Nigeria because of they have succeeded they know the divi they know wherever there is division no achievement because if you are going now okay let me let me ask, ask me church and say okay let us change things in the society how they can how, how can they change it they can change it if anglican church move if they say if anglican church are the one that take the step Catholic will go and sabotage it. If it is Catholic that take the step, Anglican will go and sabotage it. If it is uh, uh, Salvation Army, uh, Salvation uh, Ministry that want to take the step, uh, what do you call this one of uh, Chris uh, Ayukolomi? Um, what is the name of the church? They will go and sabotage them. This one will go and sabotage this one. Redeem will go and sabotage uh, winners. Winners will sabotage this. Because they are in their, what I call it, not even planned, not even planned business. They are in a very bitter, greedy business. But this one, I don't want to pass this one. This one, so they are attaching themselves. Yeah, they can't do it. So. That's why they are fighting for IPOB to be divided. They want, see, Britain and Finland, they are very superb. They are very superb in dividing, in dividing you. If not how IPOB was very strong, they want, they want to establish what they call fashion and fashion. And the moment you enter fashion, akabo. That means it's finished. Things has finished, nothing, nothing to do again. That's why they fought very gallantly to see that there is fashion. So that you will never go get where you are going to. Today, Alwade Jimako is trying to escape. To abandon the man. He blocked his release. He, he wanted to block the release of Mazin Nandika. 
Now, today, you want to run and leave the man there. Now, Mimi, Prince Khan, had been detained for two weeks and he, re he was released, I think, five days ago or six days ago. He was released. On what? On suspect of a stolen vehicle sold to another person. But now that the two capable lawyer who we are telling Mazin and the the truth, the whole truth about what is going on, telling him the real, the real reality before our lawyer starts blackmailing, you know, I don't know what the kind of promise he got from politicians. He began to make that betraying move and betray this man. Remember, Mazin and the is a man who is a incarcerated inside he doesn't know anything so whatever the the world was so much in him he make a rough decision and this rough decision have led to to the capable lawyer out of you know when, when somebody is dying for you suddenly you don't trust that person anymore the, the person they make their decision as a man they make their decision as a man they say no let us be defending the foundation. But for Mazen and the Khan, we are not touching the case. We are not going nearer. And there is nothing anybody can tell Mazen Zekome, Sam. I don't think anybody can convince this man. Because I have thought about it. This man has vowed not to touch anything concerning Mazen and the Khan. Because it was a, it was a very big insult to him. But the only thing, the only solution that is there is Martin and can If he come to court, he will use his mouth and bail himself. <laughs> that is what he, he will use his mouth and bail by making it publicly. I don't know these people call autopilot. They don't know me, I don't know them. Which everybody knows that you don't know them. Nobody, we don't know them. That is the only way. That is the only way. So, current I can't try to do it is nobody, we are nobody's listening. The, the international community are not listening to you because your hand is dead. It's only the man that his hand is clean that will come out and bury himself with his own mouth. Any other thing from here? <laughs> uh, what came out of I am not going to go to the I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the going to go to I don't care about demonization. You can demonize. The lion man is not demonized because I know the truth. Is it not better to tell you the truth? For you to build up your strong mind and face the reality? Or do you want me to be, the, be giving you fake hope? No. What are you about? This is the fact. Abu Doji has come here. Zoro show me. I told her today. Abu Buraka has just shown me. He will see the clip. We will see the evidence. That was your queer. Because we, the IPOB, say we don't know these people. And true, true, they don't know us. We don't know them. They are not anywhere near, they have never been member before, they have never no no evidence of that. It's very plain. While people from the back, the siblings of Mazen and the Khan from the back, are associating with the people that we say we don't know. The lawyer 
who represents himself as a lawyer is associating with somebody who is a, his activity we are condemning it so which means keeping them the man inside keeping that such lawyer be, be, be you know within him uh, keeping such brothers within him so something else well, that means is in a law it's called tactically admitting you are tactically admitting to their crime nobody reasonable person in this world who will associate himself with the crime not if you have a friend who engages in crime you distance yourself from such friend not that friend every time police will watch camera see that uh, this friend this man that we are suspecting uh, that is getting in social crime, he always enter and visit lion man every time when they see the man all yeah, he is their best friend one name they may not find evidence with you uh, evidence to prosecute you but you will suffer at least if it is in the western world here you at least you three months you can you get three road leave me for three months because either three months or two months because you are going to be free in court because when they go to court because they because they, uh, 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 white people they don't believe in is his friend no they believe in what you commit so before that happened police will intentionally arrest two of you they know that they will leave you they know that any day you are like a touch court you are going home but they will intentionally wicked you, arrest you together, and throw you there together, and keep you in jail, waiting for the court. Because what they will write, what they will write, they will say, okay, because they will tell the judge, they will present the judge. Look at the, look at the file of investigation of this fellow, with evidence here. They will show that when they say, no, we have no evidence, but we catch him because he is he frequents this person's house. So the only thing we say for you that day that you come to court, you you know this person, say, I know him, he's my friend. Did you know what your friend does? No. I don't know. Okay, your friend is a total, total crime. It's a total crime. They will ask your friend, did, you, did he know? That your friend will say, no. Okay, you are just a friend. He say, okay. Judge will ask you, why did you choose to? I have a friend like that. He said, I don't know. That is why I choose. If I know, I will distance myself from you. They will leave you. You will go. You are not paying anything. They will leave you. But remember, Ishina Road leave me for two months. Ishigo Road leave me. And the police intentionally did that. In other way, to tell you that you are a fool by associating yourself with a criminal. That's what they do. They will even, when they leave you, they will tell you. They say you're a fool. That's why we did what we did to you. Let me tell you something. There is nothing holding Mazen Nanikan. That time that judge discharged Mazen Nanikan and acquitted, Nigeria government was preparing to leave him. Before another conviction came, they said, no, 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 leave him. Leave, leave this man here. We don't want him out. Let let uh, somebody somebody said that I want to commit crime and put it on his head. This is why I ask Pierre France. So you people wickedness have gotten to this place, gotten to this level of punishing an innocent man. You say you are fighting for Biafra. You don't You don't fight the terrorists that is inside the bush that is preventing people from famine. You ignore those ones. Those ones now step up the attack of kidnapping our people. You don't, you don't talk anything about it. What you are after is when you see a poor man driving his ketena pepe, you put fire on it in the name of they will release your leader. You see a kind of man driving 
his machine that he uses to feed his family. You carry the machine, you put fire on it. And that machine, or that machine, is an Biafra. Who wants Biafra? This is a Biafra that wants Biafra. And you take his property, you burn it, you render him useless. You go to shop of somebody, you put fire on it. You burn the shop down. You say they will release your leader. And this is a Biafra. He did not go to Medugri to do that. He did not go to Adamawa to do that. He did not go to where no politicians like Ojos Okano who have snorted up. He didn't go to the house to do that. He didn't go to the my house to do that. He didn't go to Hopos or my house to do that. But the only way you do it is on the road and the market, poor, poor places where people are. People have nothing, no, no government presence, no, they, they, they don't even know if government exists because there is no reflection of government in their suffering on a daily basis. They, you want to suffer those people. And you say you are fighting for them. I, 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 I don't understand. That's why I call one old man one day that's supporting them. I say, can you explain to me where you are supporting them? After when I tell the man some words, I said, which kind are you as old as you are? How do you I, I even go as how do you manage your family? How do you manage your wife? How do you manage your children? Because you show that you have no sense, you have no reasoning. You are fighting for me, you are killing me. Then who are you fighting for? You really fighting for now all of them after messing up yes they needed money but any money you need that will take the life of others especially the innocent, when they, that money is not worth of having. Any money that you will need that will affect the life of poor people or innocent people, man, man, that money is not worthy of having. Even there is a place in the Bible where it, 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 it recommended take from the rich, do not take from the poor. In other words, go after those who go after you, not contrary. In Mafian law, even the Mafians, law, they don't touch innocent people. That's what that what makes Mafians powerful in the world. Go and go and investigate about Mafian engagement and the law. They don't if if I commit crime against Mafians, maybe they trust me on one money, they give me, I betray them, I eat the money, I begin to rot. They will see my wife. They will pass my wife. They will see my children. They will pass my children. The only way they will bring my wife down is if my wife is, if they check the name, is maybe I have rolled my wife into the into the court, into the ma mafia court. They will say, okay, she know the rules and regulation. They will they will bring they will gun her down. But as far as they check the name, her name is not involved in any mafia district. They will not near me. They will not near her. They will keep on looking for me until they get me. Because they are all over the world. They will keep on looking until they get me. It doesn't matter how many years it will take them, but finally they will get me.
Do you know why? Because they want to be powerful. They want to be backed up by God. That's why they don't want to touch innocent soul. They want to be backed up by God. That's why whenever they judge somebody for execution, they will open their hand like this. The chief commander of that particular zone will go, they will go, open the hand and say, God, you know that we are not looking for trouble. He looks for our trouble. That is always the language. You know, Lord, you know that we are not looking for trouble. You look for our trouble. And uh, we must take the revenge. Period. They move for action. So, let us be very careful. Know that what we are looking for, the freedom we are looking for, attach millions of souls' life. Let us be very careful, Makechi, because of tomorrow. So, therefore, I want to urge everybody To be strong behind IPOB. No matter what you believe, oh, if you're a pastor, if you're a reverend mother, you're a reverend father, you're an apostle, you're a bishop, you're a prophet or a prophetess, if you are those that God blessed so much, herbalist, I love herbalists, I love them so much because these are the people who can take natural thing from the from the ground which God made and they, they apply it to somebody the person will be healed perfectly I love them I love them they are highly gifted they are highly gifted I love them I love them if you are a herbalist protect IPO be seriously if you are Reverend Father, Reverend Mother, Priest, Bishop, Apostle, Evangelist, Pastor, protect IPOB jealously. I know, what I, I know what I'm talking about. And you people should know why I am saying it as well. Protect IPOB. If you're a witchcraft doctor, witchcraft, protect IPOB. If you're a sorcerer, Use your sorcerer or whatever you believe. Protect IPOB. If you're a Muslim, a Biafra Muslim, protect IPOB. Use every platform of your faith. Protect IPOB. Protect IPOB in your prayer. Protect IPOB financially, most importantly. Because reality, reality is what we're facing. We don't believe in, uh, in superstition, no. Protect them as little as you can. That is where your life and your security anchored. You don't know what these people are planning. You don't know what these people are planning. You don't know what if you only you if you only you have opportunity to they reveal to you what these people have in have in, have in stock with you. Oh Lord. If, even you will develop BP. You will say, eh? Why people are still today? Why many politicians are still moving around with convoy in the east? It's because of IPU. I'm just looking at them and I'm just laughing. The most of them know. The most of them do. They, they are beginning to confess it. What keep the politician moving with convoy, making so much noise? What keep one of our pastors today moving with convoy, making so much noise? It's because of IPU. Minus IPU, they are, they are, they are, nobody has really could have been deserted. Because nobody can do it. No political party can do it. No church umbrella can do it. Nothing, nothing. Because they are not united. Unity is the power.
protect IP Yobi. Jealously protect IP Yobi. I won't, I won't tell you more than this. Jealously, if you love your future and your life, protect IP Yobi jealously. Thank God, those people who, because of money in one way or another, do nonsense like people like Alloyd. Now, Alloyd, I think he want to run away. He want to run away. And I'm, I'm, and I will block that travel. I, you see that Canada distance. I, I want the Nigerian authorities to go to the Nakarande embassy and block Alloyd the Jamaica process for running away. Block it. You see, this thing that we have formed, this thing that uh, allow him allow him to be. No, this is why destroy Africa. Why people, when you commit, you pay. So that you will not commit another one. So that you will not encourage another person to do the same. I want the Nigerian authority to go to Canada Embassy. Invite Canadian ambassador to release the file, the file filled by Alloy. It's going nowhere. Mazen and the Kano will be released. Alloy will be taken in for the crime he committed. Maybe I will come and represent him. Maybe I will come and defend him in a court. <laughs> yes. I will charge him money. Okotra, Odisha, Bro, one of the only Gajima de Replacia. No, Kotagi, which you might feel. Upon over, upon over, and barren, I equal a New York. You call it a bezok, Ruru. Up, Okay, he TV. Oh, yeah, come to the way. I look at the queer. That's why I said it one time. So that they have us. I'm going to They don't tell you. Any day you are fighting and fight your people, you are finished. People should know this thing. A wise. Criminal does not commit crime in his father's house because your father's house is your umbrella of security. Even in the, even the Bible, lion goes and hunts other animals, but lion protects its own. No matter how wicked a man is, he always protects his own. Britain is wicked. Britain is wicked. They are destabilizing other African countries. Did you see what they stole from African countries? How they are using it to take care of their own citizens? Even those that travel to that place benefit from the benefit from the good goodness of them towards their own citizens. That is what he call a wise criminal. If you go to Europe, what Europeans are stealing from Africa is what they are using to pay their people. Pay them social benefit. But look at Africa that have the raw material. Their citizens are dying in hunger. That shows their leaders are very foolish criminals. The white politicians are wise criminals. Why the African politicians are very stupid, non-entity criminals. Because anything you practice, anything you are doing in this world, your, your house is not benefiting it. You are a stupid man. That shows how stupid you are. You are an robber now. You go, you rob people. Your household is hungry. 
You go to buy, you see, you launch in a big hotel, squandering the money. You're a foolish man. Why can't you use that money and take care of your, make your family king and, king and the princess and the... Yes, that shows you're wise. You're a wise man. That's why I caution the make off. I say, make off. What are you doing? You are practicing fraud. You don't go to North and practice fraud and bring the money home. Many, 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 I will talk about that one, one day. Special program for that. Let me see if our evil politicians will open their eyes. Because I, I believe that there is a spare cast on them. They don't know what they are doing. They don't go for what are you doing? You don't go to Funane and bring and defraud them and bring money to East. You don't go to Satome. Where you have multiple business and defraud them and bring money home. Rather, you are taking money from the people of Biafra, defrauding them, taking this money to Funani, taking it to Satome, taking it to abroad. What kind of human being are you? You are the most stupid person on earth. Why people they go, they go outside? Destabilize other country and bring the goodness of the what the what the loot from there and bring them to their place for the people to be happy. That's why sometimes when you say why people are not good, people are say shut up, man. They are good. Anybody who is good for his own is good. This is simple logic of life. If you are good for your own, you are good. You may be bad outside. Yes. As far as you are good for your own, you are a good man. Look at what happened. This this uh, this uh, uh, nationwide protest they planned. Thank God that the people of Eastern Region did not put head there. Go to North. Look at how the protesters hijacked Ammo tank driving it by themselves, moving around. Did you see anybody shoot them? Did you see army flying helicopter on the air, throwing bomb? No. Because of what? No matter how wicked they are, the leadership of the North have proven yes. They are there for their own people. I was telling somebody, I said, let's see this thing happen in the East. The governors will run to Abuja, give us army. Even when the federal government will tell them that we don't have enough army, they will say, go to China and borrow, borrow army for us, borrow army. If that one is not enough, they will run to South Africa and say, uh, hire us army. We will pay how many? Two billion dollars. Give us, give us. Igbo politicians. Eastern region politicians. Chineke, Meru, Nebere. That is what I was watching the event in the north. I was seriously following the event of the north. Where Igbo politicians are, are today, from Bayasa to the, all of them, they are, they are in shape. They are living in shape. They will say, oh, so all, this, all these years we have been very stupid. Even our own, that is not even violent. They are only demanding for what is right. We are demanding for our freedom to answer our original identity. You run to Abuja, give me army, give me army, give me army. If they don't have enough, you will say, hey, Mr. President, please call South Africa now. Let them give us army. Because the Nigerian Republic are not giving them army again. Now, where they run now in South Africa? And I think IPU, they have to run to South Africa government and the I think it's like, it's like they don't know what they're doing. The South African government needs to be very warned. It's like they don't know what they're doing. Now, all of them now live in Asia. So, if our colleagues self upon all the violation of this thing in the North, 
they didn't kill them. The only people that survived casualty is, uh, I think, uh, Medugri. Is it Medugri? Where they use uh, the children they, they, they kidnapped from Ebony, when they invaded some community. They use those Igbo, Igbo children to commit suicide bomber. Don't you people see it? I won't show you the video. If I show you the video, very horrible. This is why the Funanana learn new tactics. When they come up for village, they will they will kill fathers, kill mother, kill everybody. Those small, small children, they will, ta they will carry them. They are carrying them for suicide bomber. I won't be running. I will not be. Man, and that they use suicide bomber now will blood of Ndibo. The one that happened in Medugri. Those children are not Fulani children. Those were like Igbo children taken away from village where they invaded some communities, either in Nemo State or this state, and Anambra. You know, your governors are not telling you the truth. They are beginning to use them. Somebody said, Mama, you said this thing and this thing. That's, that, is what, that is why they, they say, okay, since you people no one want to hear something. They will come, they will invade the village, they will carry they will carry children. Those children are now returning, they are going to use them massively for bomb blast. So I want the politicians to know that Nigeria can never be better. I know they are eating, according to God's will, like Pabio. He said those who want to protect should protect those who want to. So where they will continue eating. Aquabio, I want to remind you that you will eat with one day. That food will come out from your nose and you will die. So the best thing for you as Aquabio, protect IPOB, let Biafra come. So that all of you will be free and stop eating. So that the food will be for general, not for only you. Because you will grow, you will grow stomach one day, you will die. When you eat, when you want to eat what belongs to everybody, you will die. Apart you, and apart you, if you continue like this, if you continue like this, I bet you, from now to May next year, you'll be a dead man. From now to May next year, you'll be a dead man. Go ahead. Right, today is what. Today is what. Today is the uh, eleventh of August, twenty twenty-four. People should write it somewhere. People should write it somewhere. Protect IPOB. In whatever you are doing, a businessman, protect IPOB. If you don't protect IPOB, you are committing self suicide. I'm telling you. Ogafio. 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 Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, these brokers have come to an end. Um, I say, my Chico Academy continue to be there for us. We continue to be there for us and protect us and protect all the IPOB members around the world. Protect our Eastern Security Network. Very, very important. Let God keep on strengthening them. It's not easy. People who left their comfortable house and be in the bush for me and you to have security and not be slaughtered by the Funanis is a, is a very huge sacrifice. So we must appreciate them through our prayers. Also appreciate them by contributing for their welfare as well. God bless every one of you there. God bless our pastors. 
God bless our reverend fathers and our reverend sisters. God bless our bishops. God bless everybody. God bless the leadership of IPUB, the DOS. God bless all the coordinators of IPUB globally and the members of IPUB globally. And I want to seize this opportunity to thank the woman leader here in Brazil, thank our financial secretary. Uh, these women are wonderful. And uh, thank all the officials of IPOB here in Brazil who have been there to make some necessary move in this land. Very, very important. And I want to thank the head of human rights uh, institution in Brazil, Mr. Alex, who have been there for us, who always, whenever we call, he will say, come over. Yeah, we thank him so much. May God continue to strengthen them and uh, push them more higher and more higher. Thank you, everyone, and God bless and happy Sunday. They are going out there. Don't drink and drive. Be a law abiding in everywhere you are. Respect the law of the land. Respect yourself as well. Thank you all.